hey, let's try something different to see if we can maximize yield where we had no fall growth and just try to maximize our nutrients and our water utilization here in this crop. And uh, we're seeing some differences here. It's at Fix 10.0 now. It's a visual difference between applied and non-applied. We left a 240 foot strip in the middle of this 80. And then 10 miles away, we have another trial in a complete different soil type. And uh, we're gonna see how they both compare. Here we have on this side is Palisade at Feek 6. And then we have an untreated 240 down to the other flag. Right now we're at Feek 10.0. This spot rate hit 10.1, and I can see a visual difference. This would be the untreated. This side's treated. The other side is identical. This will be interesting. Growth regulators are unique in the aspect of they are a gibberellic acid inhibitor. And what they're going to do is they shorten the plant, shorten nodes, compact the nodes and it shortens up cell division. So it makes the plant shorter, sturdier, less prone to lodging, and it drives the energy into grain fill that's starting to happen. This is what it's trying to do, energy and nutrients. Instead of putting it into growth, we don't need extra growth. We raise grain, we're not into raising straw. And all the things we do from biologicals, PGRs, fertility, all help us in those aspects but when the wheat's looking really good, that's when it's prone to lodging because the general rule that I follow when you are driving a crop and you're making the positives happen, you're also amplifying potential negatives. That's when your wheat's gonna go down. If you got 80, 90, 120, then you worry about lodging. Or if you have high base saturation K numbers, that's where wheat is prone to lodge also.